Yes, sometimes I get wrapped up in my own thoughts too. But my dad's taught me a little trick to quiet the voices. That's so cute. Yay. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to Season 2, Episode 18 of The Owl House, Labyrinth Runners. I always love a good... A maze. Labyrinth theme. That's mm -hmm. going to be fun. I mean, I've read a bunch of Percy Jackson and I remember there was a rather large You're labyrinth. You're such a Percy like Jackson the fourth kid. book, definitely. Yeah. Any guesses on what character this could be about? Or okay, just to clarify, the Owl House is the one that has all of, like, every mythological being that exists they ever. They said one line that's like, anything you thought of, and I feel like you've taken it to literally mean <laughs> you can transplant any IP into it. That's not gotcha. what they- I love it. It's every time you're like, because if it's actually there, then we can find the Aflac duck <laughs> and then ask him for progressive insurance. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like that. Aflac duck doesn't work for progressive insurance. Okay, sorry. We'll go ask him. How could a labyrinth fit into that? My guess, just based on nothing, is that there's some like set of secret tunnels underneath Belos's whole yeah. thing. My guess was that, or the school. The school having yeah, a labyrinth. Yeah, something feels with like tunnels. It makes sense. Mm, this, yeah. If you're excited for more of the Owl House, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and check out the Patreon linked in the description below to see these episodes early in their extended 10 to 15 minute extra long forms. Also, comment down below which series you would want us to watch after the Owl House ends. Uh, the strongest contender and the one we're probably going to do is Gravity Falls, which we are very excited about. But some other uh, options that have been uh, tossed out there are definitely The Dragon Prince, The Legend of Vox Machina, and Steven Universe. So make sure to comment below anything that you're interested in and we will give them a look. But uh, also let us know if Gravity Falls uh, would be a show you guys would want to watch. All right, are we excited for episode 18 of season two of The Owl House? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Heads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. Oh boy. It's like anatomy Interesting. class. Interesting. Meet Tyrant. Very nice work. And how is working with your partner? Oh, is it art? We're best friends <laughs> now. You've done it again, Augustus. Oh, is this flashback? School is just back to normal. I got hmm. this prodigy to do it for me. And all I had to do was pretend to be his friend. Oh yeah, this is a flashback. Oh No! That guy's getting bullied. That's so what mean. Oh no. Oh no, not this. <laughs> Whoa. What? Oh, the poor widow baby got his feelings hurt. Is he like hallucinating Is this illusions? real? Yeah. Hello there. Hey! Alright. Back when she tried to do abomination. Yeah. Who's that? You might as well just do her homework now. Go away! Are you talking? Oh no. All of you! Sometimes I get wrapped up in my own thoughts too. But my dad's taught me a little trick to quiet the voices. Oh, That's so cute. Yay. Love that. After watching Demon Slayer, really want to take some deep breaths. So, so true. continuing the theme. Oh, what a great representation All of right. getting rid of anxiety. Yeah. I'm Willow. Augustus. So cute. And okay. I love their friendship. Yeah. So it's a flashback of them. Math all mule. This guy. <laughs> it's nice to see the kids embracing multi tracks. I remember giving up everything. For oh them. wait, were they? Are they wearing multiple? Oh yeah, they're they're oh, they're, they're changing they're switching majors. majors. <laughs> to be honest, I thought this would be more trouble than it's worth, but I haven't seen students this enthusiastic ever. Well, that's such a good point. It's what magic should be. Mhm. Mm that's what education should be. Whoa, is that the uh, That's the leader of the Illusion Coven, I think. Okay. Don't you think? Mhm. Mm These are the last messages I got from Luce. She must have typed them quickly because all I could decipher was "Day of Unity, something, something," and don't this is scare him away. after Hollow Mind. Don't know what yeah. It means. Don't scare away Hunter. I think maybe. Hearts. <laughs> those are for me. Oh. The Owl House. It was crawling with Coven Scouts. Oh yeah, they got. They surrounded the house too. It's okay, Willow. They're tough. Not everyone can stand up to them. 
<laughs> Gotta bring back the yelling bell. Yeah. You should say something. I'm fine. That was a little bit acting like she's weak. Did you hear that? Interesting. The way she was like, oh, not everybody can take out coven people like, mm -hmm. when she literally can. Like, it'd be one thing if neither of them could, but it, it's definitely putting down Willow. Yeah. We just started hanging out again and she needs time to get to know the new me. You mean the real you? <laughs> hmm. Nice. <gasps> I remember what is Hunter's palace bird. been doing here? Wait, get back here? Little trash boy. Paranormatorium? <gasps> Hunter. Okay. Wouldn't you like to know? And he's but rest assured, gotta be different because he doesn't believe in Bellows. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's been staying here. What are you doing here? Hunter. Went from Golden Guard to Hunter. My living situation has been compromised. Yeah. So I just need a place to crash. Hexide was the only place I could think of. Oh. <laughs> She's not with the owl lady? Students, please join Oh, she went- Oh, I completely forgot. Last episode, her and King went to the island and figured out there's like- It figured out about the collector mm -hmm. and the like sun side of the yeah. collector. And then also we learned that there's like a whole group that like basically has over time murdered so many titans even infant titans that they had the skulls to wear as head gear terrible but uh so they're still coming back from that i guess okay oh and we learned king is a titan so yes, that's like yes, yes, that's yes. probably the big information mm -hmm. please join me in the gym for an important announcement i'm not sure what you're going through but that much hex mix can't be good for your stomach <laughs> hex mix what's going on it's funny. Yeah, it's also funny that you sound like you're saying the same word with a different starting letter because you're from California. You Is that not what he was saying? It's hex mix. Are you sure? It's it's like check. Okay, saying the words now doesn't feel real, but check mix or whatever that. Oh, I th I'm pretty sure it's a Tex Mex reference. Oh no, it's a Tex Mex. No. It's Hex Mex. Okay, I'm forgetting the name of the snack. Check Chex Mix. Mix. It's, that's what it does. I'm pretty sure. I will go check, but I'm pretty certain. Because what was the food that what fell out? Because it happened earlier. Edith threw it at somebody's yes. face. I'm pretty My. sure. Yeah, Hex Mix. Hex Mix. mix. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You're like Hex Mix, and I'm like, that's just the California, <laughs> just the California accent, accent attempt at Mix. <laughs> that's funny. Because a lot of Tex-Mex also wouldn't be good for your stomach. <laughs> Let me introduce the esteemed... Please, Principal Bum. I deserve no accolades. Hello, everyone. Okay. My name is Adrian Gray, head witch of the Illusionist Coven. <gasps> Whoa. Unfortunately, I'm not here with good news. The Emperor's Coven has plans to stop multi-track studies by inducting every Hexide student into a coven before the Day of Unity. <gasps> yeah, because they're going to start draining them, too. Gotcha. Don't worry. No one's magic is going to be sealed away. Well, seems fake. <laughs> Before any a little bit of an overreaction. Uh-oh. Sigils on your wrists. They'll be temporary. Oh. Harmless. Okay, so we're just pretending. Don't huh. worry. Once a scout sees the fake sigil, they'll move on and you can continue. What is his play here? You know what I mean? Now hold still. Mm -hmm. This is a little creepy. I don't love yeah. this. No, definitely is he doing weird illusion magic vibes. Or? Don't trust him. He's hiding behind an illusion. Whoa. Okay, who is it? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. It was gonna be for real. Gus. Whoa, Holy that was shit. so smart. That was really smart. Oh my god. Wow, they really need to be so much more careful. Of notes. That Adrian illusion was lacking a certain hmm? You get me? <laughs> of course, the illusion leader. <laughs> and you just ruined any chance we had of making this something. You were gonna trick us into getting sigils. Uh, yeah. I work for Bellos. Kind of my job. Let's make sure you can never use your little illusion tricks again. What? Shall we? I never thought about that angle. Because if they give it something wrong, if they do the wrong one. Stay On purpose. Back. Yeah. Whoa, does he have powers? Is that what was that, being Because that's like so different. Because he did a, regular... a large amount of illusion in the graveyard too. Yeah. What is... Whoa. Stuff is moving quick. Oh my God. Head 
Which? What this in is the where, world? This is where the stones were. Okay. Did Gus do that whole thing? Wait, is this all a game of illusions? The one who did this. Okay. If we could have some direction. Am I the only one who knows how to do their job? When you look at this, the detail is just so... Pow. I hate <laughs> looking for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Terrible boss. So they're trying to force people into being in a certain coven just to get their power before. And they were going to trick before. them. Yeah. It's pretty ter dastardly. How did we get here? So true. So is Gus just releasing a huge illusion? Like, how is this even happening? You just, like, create a reality. Whoa. No. I got it. Queen. Hey. No. Stop that. That's so mean. <laughs> that was very funny. That's so funny. Oh, Gus. Is your eye okay? Is it, like... What is he? My what's spell, going on? It's still active. You're a witch. Unspell it. No, I, I don't know how. Why'd you save me back there? The food yeah. The sigil. Don't those guys work for you? I, That's uh, the other thing. For the food. Oh, because he's he All still right. told him he doesn't believe in Velos anymore. Yeah. Real steps. Holy shit. When we first met, you were trying to trick me into joining a coven. And now you're helping me stay away from one because of a sandwich? It was a good sandwich. <laughs> no is that good. Some sandwiches are that good. Yeah. We need to trust each other. Don't underestimate the power of sandwiches. I... Hey, it's the kid. Oh. Oh my God! Again. His magic's so cool. Oh. Oh. Hell oh yeah, palisman. And none of it's real. Well, that's just a palisman. Okay. Wait. Like yeah, I don't have to be in stick form. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, so embarrassing for them. He's been worried sick. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah. He was about to just murder him in his brain. <laughs> murder him in his brain? Yeah, because I got teleported into small version into oh, his brain okay. and they were gotcha, about to gotcha, murder gotcha. him in his brain. Gotcha, I see. I'm sure the Emperor would be thrilled to know you're okay. Say, why aren't you- Uh-oh. <laughs> They're so obsessed Whoa, with him. Did oh he my make god. A glyph or yeah, he like drew something Dang. in the, the goop. The fire glyph is cool. Well, that's kind of exposed him now. He's yeah. No and now they're in Gus's room. Gus is a really powerful. Oh, he's so anxious. Hey, try to breathe. Maybe this will get rid of Gus's illusion as well, potentially. Interesting. Or maybe not. It seems like kind of locked in. Did you run away from the Emperor's Covenant? When I showed a little talent and started taking more advanced classes, it always felt like anyone who wanted to be my friend had an ulterior motive. Until I met Willow, and eventually Luce, and some others. That's probably how he is feeling. Mm-hmm. Not everybody's great, but not everyone's bad either. For what it's worth- Gus's band poster is so goblin. <laughs> That's not worth anything. Stop acting foolish. Oh. All right, tough guy. Let's keep moving then. Gray rocking him. Literally. <laughs> Okay. He like, uh, yeah, trust me, it's nothing, buddy. Okay. You're hurt. I get it. <laughs> I got this. No, I got this. And uh, miscoordination. Tragic. But we gotta have this conversation, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let me protect you. I get okay. wanting to go the it's opposite direction. It's not coming direction. from like a feeling of superiority. It's coming from a good place. It's just not right. Yeah. <laughs> Or not like deliberate superiority, like it's subconscious. Dang. Fantastic. Come quick. Uh, is this real? Blech. Yes. Yeah, we made it through the illusion. High five. With the gum hand. <laughs> Willow, you're okay. Augustine. Oh, you oh. never done high five too. Wait, wait, I thought it was because you saw Willow. Because you saw Willow, you're oh, yeah. right. Hold on. Wait a minute. Do we have a a connection occurring? Hunt low. Don't. That's what they call it. Hunt low or will. Will Wilter. Willow, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Crushing. Very cute. I think he ran away from the Emperor's Coven. He hasn't showered in a while. Be nice. Interesting. No. <laughs> oh. oh. Let's find the others before these illusions get any more. What did maybe he, he knows how bad his illusions can get? Who are you? Willow's on 
Okay. That's not the captain. You're scaring me, Hunter. Oh, that's it's she's the an illusion. illusion. There's no way she'd be afraid of me. Oh yeah. What is he doing here? Yeah. Yep. Nice. Genius. She would wow. never be afraid of me. That's how he knew. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So maybe you should have figured out the note inside the note. And you two are making my job very difficult. Whoa. More illusions. I command you to stop. Technically, he is our superior. <laughs> All right. Now he's just a runaway. So tie him up. Dang. Oh my god. Um. Are they... the, is that a murder spell? Just casually? <laughs> okay. <laughs> they just dark. skipped by that really quickly. Yeah. So they just took Gus? I hope they didn't turn, put him into a coven. This, this is an illusion! Gus! Are you... It's okay. Try not to stand so fast. This isn't an illusion. You're in the healing homeroom. Ah. Well, Mr. Golden Guard, we saw you being dragged around, and the Flyer Derby team was determined to save you. Oh, that's cute. That's sweet. That's the Golden Guard? Do look sickly. I could probably take him. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, you gotta trust him. I'm not lying. Gus was showing me around. There was a sandwich. He showed me this breathing thing. <laughs> Please, you gotta believe Oh, she knows that that's yeah. real. He's telling the truth, and he can help us drive Hedwitch Gray and his scouts out of the school. Gray said Her energy when she's around, like, the way he, that she is around Hunter, like, every, like, it's not like she's changing, but the fact that he only knows her as that is my favorite thing. Because, like, he knows her as he, she wants Amity to know her. Yeah. Like, if Amity ever is like, oh, I can, she'll be like, he'll be like, what are you talking about? She's really amazing. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. I kind of love that. Absolutely. He will be guarded. That won't be a problem. Willow can bust through anything. Oh, cool. amazing. Say no more. I'm All right. <sighs> Let's All right. Come up with a plan. Yes, this is my favorite part. Oh, Bump's on their side. I love this. Finally. Well, Bump has been on their uh, side. No. You know, yeah. like he's he's. One of the few adults in this show just that's like, like with a plan. Yes, this is my favorite yeah. part. Well, actually, like in more. on it though, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, <laughs> the rat tail on one of them. <sighs> You've done it again, Augustus. You can even tell Willow apart from an illusion. You, this is my monologue. Now, this is your doing. Yeah. Now, how about telling me how you know about the Looking Glass graveyard? I've been looking for the Galder stones. They make great gifts for the Emperor. Where did you say you found them? Oh. <laughs> Boring. Is that like a drain thing? What? Do you think they're... No, I just think he's just... Bootlicking. He, yeah, he's just like sucking up as much as he possibly can. So I think that's what's going on there. Gotcha. Like, look at what the way his eyes soften when he talks about the emperor. The lip bite. <laughs> also, I wonder what exactly his, like, species is. Like, with the tail, like, mm -hmm. and the teeth. Is he like a wear illusionist? A, a illusionist? <laughs> See this mirror? It's a handy little magic amplifier. It'll help me sort through those little memories. Oh. That's creepy. Whoa. Wait, disperse! Because he's so powerful, like, he could probably, it's probably just going to tap into his powers, you know? Does it just get you into the memory? Hmm. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Avatar state. Yeah. <laughs> Jim is off limits. Is he Gray's unlocking orders. new illusion magic? Gray may be head witch. But that's like different from any other illusion. Yeah, it's new. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Nice. Okay. Well. Here we go. Whoa. Fantastic. Perfect. Whoa. Okay. Sick. Everyone has such unique, like, animation powers. Yeah. Like, or like their powers are animated in such a unique way. Yeah. And distinctive. Yeah. Whoa, the teamwork. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she okay, Shira. Very cool. What was that button? Also, whoa. 
Oh, making them see their worst memories or? Yeah. Ooh. What's going on? Gus is trapped in his head. Who? Oh, Alador. His bot. He has it under control. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Wow. And his memories are so fresh too, his worst ones. Yeah. That sucks. That actually might make it easier than other people because it's not like it's bringing back something from the past. It's, it's not as like ingrained. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's more like, yeah, I was thinking about this five minutes ago. Mm hmm. It's not as jarring. Yeah. Exactly. Gus! Whoa. I let myself get tricked again. Oh. Everyone thinks I'm the smart one. Why do I keep acting so dumb? Gus, can you hear me? Whoa. I, can't I did not know Gus had anymore. this much power. It's hard when you can't trust yourself. I spent my whole life believing I was doing something good, but it was a lie. And some part of me still wants to believe in that lie. Just like you want to believe you're dumb, but it's not true. Oh. That's so sad. I yeah. I wouldn't mess with you. How did that breathing thing go again? <gasps> That'll do it. Hmm, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> you got the amplifier. That allowed All right. him to see people's like yes! memories. That's helpful. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Me too. Oh trying to be casual. His ears, His ears are blushing. <laughs> Very cute. Uh, you gotta wonder how many hugs he's like ever had. Right. That's, That's so sad. So sad. Severine, get on that ship or you'll be walking back to the castle. You know what? My self-esteem can only take so much. I quit. Good for you. Nice. The, the tiny, tiny cat, cat coven. coven. Why did you leave? <laughs> Why would you ever leave the tiny cat coven? <laughs> I can't believe you took down a coven head. Yeah. That was sick. That was very cool. Is Gray gonna be all right? Uh, probably. <laughs> Hunter, did you actually leave the Emperor's Coven? Have you yeah. Sneezed with your mask on? <laughs> <laughs> the people <laughs> craved the truth. Everyone in the castle is traveling to the head for the Day of Unity. I think going to the head. Did. Whoa! So everybody's going to all the right. head. That must be. Maybe they're gonna reawaken the Titan or something. The Day of Unity isn't about the Titan or magic. It's much scarier than that. What's it about? What does that mean? There's a lot to explain. Please just say it. Better get started. Yeah, just literally speak, talk. Speak. Don't end. No! Please! You've got to be fucking kidding me. They okay. They, of course they All did right. that to us. All right. So All right. That is about it. That's actually my favorite thing when that happens. I love it when that happens. <laughs> yeah, it's my. It's, it's the best when it's you just so really, fun. really want to see something. And, and then, then they, they just, say, no. I don't think so. Hee <laughs> hee, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Velos is a witch hunter! You, you have to listen! Uh! Ida? Ida, can, can you hear me? I'll listen to you now. I'll do whatever you say. Just fight back! Oh Please. no. Ida! That is about it for episode uh, 18 of The Owl House. What are your first thoughts before we jump into our discussion section? Very fun episode. I'm liking seeing more of Hunter outside of Bellows. And just kind of like him working into the like dynamic of that whole group. When we first met him, he was already showing signs that he was not in the right place. Yeah. But now that he's fully accepting it and leaning into his friends, his knowledge is going to be invaluable. All the stuff that he's like been told by Bellos, you know? Yeah. It's odd to me how casually Bellos kind of allowed somebody with so much information to go free. Like it's just, it's odd. That, like, yeah, that definitely was suspicious and makes me think he has something planned that Hunter obviously isn't aware of it and we can't really know. There's something off about that. Yeah, and we're going to have to see in these future episodes if we can hear the rest of Hunter's sentence. But uh, that is about it for episode 18. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below if you're excited for more Owl House coming every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the next seven Tuesdays. If you can't wait and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to the Patreon right now in their extended uncut forms. We have a lot to discuss before we do that. Where are we headed? All right, let's review. I have 
some amazing questions from Yay. our Owl House members. Uh, they're longer ones, but they're well worded and they're great. So uh, let's on uh, brand for thank, Owl House. Exactly. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to three questions given to us by our Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions after every episode of any show that we watch, join the link in the description below at any level and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. All right, Miss Sunflower ninety four asks: The Owl House has a lot of episodes that focus on the difficulties various kinds of neurodivergent kids face in school. What are your thoughts on this topic handled with Gus and things like gifted kids being exploited by others and how kids like him can be school smart but still easily tricked? I think the Owl House does like a really great job of just like varied and accurate representation. Um, so Gus being so smart and so talented but still not able to kind of get the social stuff. It makes him a lot more relatable of a character and you're like more excited for him because of that and because he's so real. Yeah. I feel like a lot of times gifted kids are utilized by teachers as like a way to keep other kids in line mm -hmm. or like monitor the classroom or just use as an example, which is a really isolating thing to do. Well, did um, that, was that happening to Gus? It's like a compounding thing where everything works off of each other because when like the teacher uses you as the example, then everyone's like, okay, well, I want to work with them for projects or whatever, which leads to them getting exploited. And then they're like, yeah, it's, it's complicated. Um, and sometimes I guess the like want to um, make friends and then also excel at your studies that everybody's praising you for being a prodigy for can mixed together into you doing that kind of stuff for these friends and getting used you know well and the other thing is a lot of times people who are academic prodigies or really prodigies in anything tend to place a lot of their self-worth in their ability to do that mm -hmm. so when they like think about themselves as a friend they believe the only thing they have to offer is their academics and intellect mm. So, like, how can that be of use to my, like, to your friends? Because it's like yeah. this perception of like, there has to be a reason for someone to keep me around because just me is not enough, like that kind yeah. of thing. <clears throat> and then also, I just think getting taken advantage of, like, I think that was mainly what we were seeing this episode yeah. is just him sort of getting his like illusion magic and friends used against him. Mm -hmm. Like, and I think that hopefully, like, I mean, also showing the breathing techniques I really enjoyed because that, like, the anxiety of that can feel like that. 100%. And I feel like that the way that it was, like, scrolling through all these memories and reality is, like, so the way that somebody like that would react to having them, their neurodivergent stuff being triggered again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's go to question two. All right. Lilac Flower asks, in any sport in a storm, we see Hunter relate to Willow about being called half a witch and in Eclipse Lake, he relates to Amity about being in an environment where you constantly need to prove yourself in order to feel loved and valued. In this, we see him relate to Gus about believing things you know are harmful and untrue. And if you look at it, Hunter's arc mirrors Lose's arc too. What do you think about Hunter's character now that we've seen him relate to so many of our main cast? What role do you think he'll play in the future of the story? Because now he's had a personal journey with each one of the members of the main group specifically. Definitely. I mean, for one thing, it makes for like a very cool character interaction dynamic, but there's absolutely something to be said for hearing how other people deal with similar problems. And that can sometimes even be more helpful than talking to a professional. It's like why group therapy is so amazing. Because it's not necessarily about like what is the most correct way to solve this problem. It's just what set of words gets this idea to click in your brain. And that's not something that more education is necessarily going to be helpful with. Potentially, Hunter and each of these individuals that he's like shared a connection with, because they both experience that same thing, they'll be able to like bounce ideas off each other or like when you see something that you've experienced in someone else it's a lot easier to get like a realistic picture of what's happening and how to how to solve it mm, so you think he'll just help complete the view of like what we know about bellows and stuff or mm, the characters specifically no i think like so if amity is having difficulty with being in a situation where she needs to prove herself constantly and that's like so you think he'll be like the support character of the group I think he'll be the one that everyone in the group goes to to like 
line out their last funky thing. Whatever like main issue they're having, Hunter's going to be the one that they can. And that kind of goes along with the thing you were saying earlier about how Hunter only knows them like from this point forward and sometimes not knowing all of the backstory and just knowing someone as like the person standing in front of you. It's a different perspective and that can make a huge difference. Yeah, we'll see. I see him more playing the role of like the person who knows the most about Belos and the plan. Okay. Like I feel like he's probably going to be like the intellect of he also is a history buff so if he knows the history oh, okay. and he knows the future he's kind of going to be their map in a sense mm-hmm. so i feel like him and Luz's combined knowledge is going to be what gets them to the places they need to be at the times they need to be at them that makes sense um that's at least my thought my other thinking is potentially are they going to use that magnifying glass to look into Luz's brain see the um the spell that Philip cast the, on the ground the big tra- uh, teleportation one to the head mm-hmm. and then redraw it and use it. Okay, Because they literally showed, I can look into your memories and find it out. So, mm-hmm. I mean, maybe. Yeah. Um, we'll have to see, but let's go to our final question. Jenny D asks, all the way back in uh, episode 15 of season one, Willow told Amit, Willow told Amity, I can't say that we're friends, but it's a start. Over a season later, the show is still touching on aspects of their relationship that haven't fully healed from the way Amity used to treat Willow. What are your thoughts on how the show has handled the story arc? How does it compare to other storylines you've seen of relationships being repaired? Okay, I'm a super big fan because I feel like a lot of times characters will have these like deep-seated, very personal like very personal, intense, like mean fighting. And then when it's convenient for the plot, they have like a sit down conversation and they're like, but we need to work together. And then it's like, everything's fine. Yeah. Um, Which is so unrealistic. And I'm glad that they're showing like working together with someone and being amicable. Yeah. Um, Same root as Amity while also not completely forgetting about it because in forgetting about it it's like writing it off and saying that the damage didn't happen yeah and and it's still very much impacting or it it should be yeah still impacting the character so pretending it's not is just not my favorite yeah so the writing in this plot has been great Mm because they show it in every decision every interaction at least animationally sometimes dialogue wise as well but every time animation wise you can see the slight uncomfort but mostly friendship and uh i'm interested to see if they eventually just reach full friendship because they're nearly there yeah i feel like this was one of the final hurdles to be like hey i get it we're friends but like i'm not i'm also not the person that you left back then i've changed yeah and like i think that's what we got this episode and i'm excited to see them become closer and work, continue working together um but that's about it for episode 18 of the owl house thank you for watching are we excited for episode 19 can't wait all right let's get it let's go